Hello, everybody. This is John Ward. December 1984 kicks off with a gorgeous football afternoon in Nashville, Tennessee. Set to kick off the season finale between Tennessee and Vanderbilt. The Commodores, coached by George McIntyre, come into this game with a record of five wins and five losses. A chance to have a better than 500 season and to even their Southeastern Conference mark. Tennessee, which last week accepted a bid to the Sun Bowl December the 22nd, will be seeking its seventh win of the year. And also, the volunteers of Coach Johnny Majors will be trying to wrap up a 500 year in the Southeastern Conference. It is a traditional game. Everybody knows that. And a full stadium will be on hand to see this football game. We hope you'll be enjoying the play-by-play -play of Tennessee versus Vanderbilt. Coming up in just one minute. has won the opening toss, deferred its decision until the commencement of the second half, and so Vanderbilt with the option elects to receive. Tennessee in white with orange numerals, Vanderbilt in black with gold numerals, trimming the white, and it will be Vanderbilt. Witherspoon returning the kickoff and gets out for Vanderbilt's possession at the 26-yard line. Kenny Witherspoon from Nashville returning, and at quarterback starting for the injured Kurt Page, number 11, is Mark Ratcher, a sophomore from Richfield, Ohio. Scott in motion. Woods. Good effort. Jim Duncan got there to turn him wide or force him wide, and then 45 Xander, 29 Clark, 42 Kofer. A second look. Carl Woods. He's a sophomore from Gallatin. There you see him being forced wide by Duncan. And Tennessee covers it well, and Vince Clark actually is there initially on the stop. 81 pop is the tight end shifting for Vandy. Nothing, nothing the score. Astrater surface. Woods again, 45 Xander, the senior from Mendham, New Jersey. He leads Tennessee defensively with 154 stops in his senior year. From the end zone, you can just see Xander playing it all the way along the line and fills the hole and makes the stop. Third down, Vanderbilt. Tennessee going defensively with McKenzie, Brown, Duncan, the tackle, Dale Jones outside, Robbie Scott, the middle guard, Xander and Kofer. That's Scott in motion. And the completion is to Keith Edwards. He leads the Southeastern Conference in the number of processions. That's his 58th this year. Tony Simmons, 97 now in the lineup for Tennessee. But the catch is made by Keith Edwards, and the Commodores have it first down. No score, Tennessee and Vanderbilt. For the Commodores up front, Monaco, Wolford, Drawley, Fletcher, Denson, the blocking five. Woods slashes forward, diving past the 40-yard line, as you see, as Vanderbilt and Tennessee are nothing-nothing. Mark the ball at the 41-yard line. Out over the ball is Jim Drawley, a senior. Ratcher, a sophomore quarterback. Woods. Nice move. Woods breaking it. Cutting back and is knocked out of bounds by Ten <coughs> Tennessee's Clark. <coughs> he might have stepped out of bounds further back upfield. We'll wait till the officials line it up. Brilliant move in the corner by Carl Woods. And out in front blocking is Edwards. Xander controlled on the outside, and there he stepped out of bounds back up field. Continues to dash down the far sideline. There's Clark forcing him out of bounds, but as the official says, he was out of bounds back up at the Tennessee 45-yard line, and Vanderbilt moving with the ball. In the eye formation, Chuck Scott in motion. Woods comes driving up the middle. Xander, 45, 51 is Reggie McKenzie, 31 is Duncan, 20 is Benton, 29 Clark. Gain on the play, right at, what, two yards. Second down, eight, nothing, nothing score. Ratcher. Pass. Well, it was deflected, I think, in the line of scrimmage. Diving after the possible interception was Cooper. But I think one of the volunteer interior linemen powering through there got a hand on the ball. It is incomplete. Let's take a second look. 65, Scott. 51 for Tennessee defensively. 
Well, I still can't see. And there you see Kofer with a lunging effort for the interception. Could not contain the ball. So it'll be third down. Bratcher. Pass. Incomplete again. And we'll see right now. There's time out on the field with the score. Tennessee nothing. Vanderbilt nothing. After an exchange of punts, we pick it up with Tennessee in possession as Robinson gives to Johnny Jones. And Jones is stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Defensively for Vanderbilt, 4-3 defense, basically. Watson, Wade, Jordan, Windham up front. Holt alternates with Fitz, McCoy, Cartwright, linebackers. A second look. And the man coming through is number 36, as you see, making the fine play for Vanderbilt defensively. That's Watson. Cornerbacks, Sykes and Anderson. Safeties, Young and Johnson. Tennessee, second down. Ten yards to go. Robinson. Pass. Complete. That's Swanson makes the catch. Immediately drilled by the defender Sykes. But it appears the junior from San Bernardino, California, picked up just enough of the first down. A second look. I think that was McKenzie or perhaps Hibbett dropping off to make the protecting block for Robinson. The pass is complete to Eric Swanson who has now caught 16 passes for 142 yards and one touchdown this year. First and 10, Tennessee. Nothing to nothing to score at Vanderbilt Stadium, Dudley Field in Nashville. High formation. Wilson. A good effort, Wilson. Winding it out. The freshman for Tennessee, who is averaging 5.4 yards per carry, 32 carries, 173 yards. And check the blocking right up front. Fine effort on the corner. I think that was either Douglas or Wilkerson on the corner. Tennessee moving. And it was uh, it was Wilkerson blocking, opening up the hole. And there comes the knifing Charles Wilson for a gain of nine. Waist down, perhaps. Second down short. Robinson, pass, complete. Eichholz. And Eichholz rips it on down for a first down, 10 to go. 12-yard gain. Robinson to 159-pound Bill Eichholz, a senior from Knoxville. He's pounded down first by Sykes, and then trailing was Cartwright. From ground level. Good power by Eichholz. And Tennessee has it first down as the ball is moved down, as you see, to the 22-yard line of the Commodores. Nothing to nothing to score. Robinson slips and falls after a gain of right at six yards. Tennessee in the offensive line, a lot of people will play in the game. Smith, Upton, Galbraith, Mayo, slightly injured, McKenzie, Hibbett, Kirk, Bruin, Wilkerson, Douglas. There you see the feet just slip out from under. The lanky 6'3 quarterback from Tallahassee, Florida, Robinson, who has rushed 69 times for 121 yards this year to the moment. Tennessee nothing, Vanderbilt nothing. Nearing the end of the first quarter at Nashville. Big hole up the middle on a grinding drive comes William Howard. Good blocking on the trap. 70 is Upton, 88 McGee into your picture, 87 Clink Scales is back in service after missing three games with injuries. 50 is Hibbett, 70 is Upton making the hole and sauntering through for the first down goes Howard. First down, goal to go for Tennessee. Nothing to nothing to score. Jones back at tailback for Tennessee. Robinson sees a shift in the defense and Changes the play. Robinson in trouble. Pass is incomplete. It was intended for McGee. Defending Vanderbilt bats the ball down at the goal line, and it will become second down and goal to go. Hands up from Watson. And... Defending for Vanderbilt was Kermit Sykes, a junior from Lexington, Kentucky. Second and goal. Nothing to nothing the score.
Vanderbilt shifting its defense. Everybody up on the line could be a blitz. Here everybody comes. Here's Robinson in trouble. Sack. 99 gets credit. Carl Jordan, his fifth sack of the year. And Vanderbilt defensively maneuvering well. Here you'll see breaking free the senior from Huntsville, Jordan knocking Robinson down. There's time out of the field with a score. Tennessee nothing, Vanderbilt nothing. There's no score in this game. Tennessee has it deep in Vandy territory. Third down. Now moving toward the south end of the field. Draw Jones and Vanderbilt guesses absolutely perfectly. 99 is Carl Jordan. And it is he. And there you see Manuel Young really making, well, it's Manuel Young making the play all the way. Manuel Young, 32, the senior from Columbia, who leads his team in tackles this year with 96. So Tennessee has it fourth down. And here's Fouad Reves to attempt the field goal. It will be a 37-yard attempt, and it is good. Reves now has kicked his 19th field goal of the year. He's 19 of 21. And to kick off will be the senior, originally from the country of Columbia, then Miami, then Tennessee. And what a career he has had. He's set all kinds of records. Kickoff received. This is the freshman. And this is Tennessee 39. That's Welsh. Who else? And also might have been Benton downfield covering as the reception of the kickoff by Crawford returns the ball right about to the 16-yard line. Pass is complete. That's Scott. And Scott comes on forward. He is second only to Keith Edwards in total number of receptions in the conference. That's his 48th catch of the year. Has seven touchdowns. Ratcher, Scott runs precise routes. Knows what to do when he gets the football. And it will be a first down for Vanderbilt. 23-yard gain on that play. Ratcher to Scott. Bandy trails by three. Ratcher, plenty of time. Complete. Fuller running a hook route. And he's got another first down as Vanderbilt for two successive first downs goes to the air. That's what the Commodores like to do. Put the ball in the air. They average 39 passes a game, 32 rushes. And there's Fuller hugging along that sideline. The official right on top of the play. And then Fuller turns and carries forward for the gain of 13 yards. First, first down number six for the Commodores. Trailing three to nothing. Crawford in there is a running back. This is Crawford. Cutting to the left side. Inside. Fumble! Tennessee has recovered the football. The freshman, Everett Crawford, from Huntsville, Alabama, is popped, and we'll try to see who makes the hit there's Crawford cuts back to the inside 45 Xander really primarily responsible for shaking the ball free and then the volunteers trail there's time out on the field with the score Tennessee three Vanderbilt nothing Tennessee unable to move with the fumble and into the game comes Bob Garman first punt out of bounds at the Vanderbilt six yard line Tennessee leading three nothing in motion, Edwards. Ratcher back to throw. Being pressured. Ratcher is going to be sacked. Safety. Richard Cooper. Freshman. Memphis, Tennessee. Number 77. On top of Ratcher. Here you'll see the rush. They've actually got a double team on Cooper. He beats them. He grabs Ratcher. And Ratcher is wrenched to the end zone turf. And Tennessee tacks on two more points. The volunteer fans, wherever Tennessee plays, are there, and certainly in Nashville. Tennessee fans on hand as the volunteers now lead five to nothing, and that sets up the free kick. The nation's number one punter, Anderson, who's averaging 47 yards a punt, will kick this one from the 20-yard line. Vanderbilt trailing Tennessee now five to nothing. 
punt. Oh, a brilliant long spiraling punt. That's Kramer just barely staying in bounds. And the freshman returning back upfield and is belted out of bounds. Andre Kramer returns the free punt to give Tennessee possession first down and 10 to go at the volunteer 38 yard line. A return of right at 19 yards. So Tennessee to the line. Jones sweeping the right side, gets to the corner, gets inside and fights forward for a gain of five yards. Jones now six carries, 12 yards in the game. It's been tough going inside. And for the first time, the Volunteers try the sweep. And on first down, Jones picks up five. Second down and five. The score is five to nothing, Tennessee. Robinson against the four-man front. High formation. Option pitch, Jones at the corner. Slowed, breaks free, twists, turns, pops open. Johnny Jones, 35, 25, 15, 10, 5. Give him six. Touchdown, Johnny Jones. Robinson, the pitch, Jones. That's McKenzie, 52, and this is Jones exploding for 57 yards. Tennessee leads 11 to nothing as the balls after you might say Garmin's out of bounds punt has turned into an eight point play possibly nine as here's Reves to attempt the extra point snapping farmer holding cells kicking Reves and it's up and it is perfect so Tennessee Went up three to nothing. Then the safety is Richard Cooper got to Ratcher in the end zone, made it five to nothing. The free kick returned by Kramer. Johnny Jones for five, Jones for 57, and the TD. And now Tennessee leads by a score of 12 nothing as Johnny Jones in seven carries has gone 69 yards. And let's take another look in the end zone. McKenzie, 52, there's the block. But it was Jones with just a sensational spin. Uh, 360 on the corner and then once he saw daylight like all great backs he accelerates and he goes racing 57 yards for the score 12 to nothing Tennessee and it will be Reves kicking off second quarter of the game and what a day it is a beautiful beautiful December 1 as here comes Fouad Reves skying the end over in what a Beautiful camera work taken by Witherspoon. Thumb ball, scramble, pops out of bounds, and Vanderbilt will have the ball as Tennessee was unable to get control of it. Witherspoon returning. And now the Commodores behind 12 to nothing. A second look at the camera work. At the return and at the hit. And that's a 50, and I, did, I didn't get both num numer numerals, so we'll just say a Tennessee and shook the ball loose. Now here's Woods. Good effort by Woods on the corner, and like Tennessee has done twice before, when he gets to the far side, he loses his footing, slips, and falls. Good effort by Woods, who was almost dumped for a loss, McKenzie was battling him, but Woods turns the corner. Now in 12 carries, he's gained 53 yards. Second down and four for Vandy. Woods, Tennessee strings it. That's Clark. And now Tennessee fills the void, and there's no gain on the play. Excellent defense by Tennessee. 54, Dale Jones. 22, that's Charles Davis. To the sideline, ground level. Woods trying to find a little opening. And Xander, who else, along with Jones. And it will be third down. Vandy trails 12 to nothing. Mark Ratcher has gone all the way. Kurt Page has not played. He practiced, but has not seen service. Here's the pass complete. And it is caught just in bounds by Scott. Chuck Scott, as we'll take a second look at this Everett on the sideline. He must have one foot in bounds with possession. 
he had one foot in bounds with possession. First down, Vanderbilt. Ratcher, Woods, and Woods dies for a gain on the play of right at four yards. Robbie Scott in the middle for Tennessee. 12 to nothing, second down, six Vanderbilt. In the background, you can see the play clock, 25 seconds. Ratcher surveying the assignment and the alignment, back to throw. Ratcher, it is caught, Woods, Jones catches from behind. Ropes him down. Gain on the play of five yards. And let's see what Vanderbilt will do. Third down. As we take another look at Woods making the catch and at Jones making the catch from behind. The ball's on top, 12 to nothing. And you see what exactly Vanderbilt has to do. It's third down and that much to go, about a yard. Commodore is trailing by 12 points. Edwards, nothing. That's Dale Jones from his outside linebacking position and Reggie McKenzie from the other side. And that's how much Vanderbilt has to go. So it's fourth down and Vanderbilt trailing 12 to nothing near midfield. Sends the putter in. An unusual alignment. Tennessee asks for a timeout. And now Vanderbilt stays with the punter Anderson. Snap. Punt is away. Kramer weighs for a fair catch. Then he's going to let the ball bounce. And it is. Oh, it's into the end zone. Vanderbilt had a shot at downing the ball up near the five. But it just got away and rolls on in. And so Tennessee, fortunate certainly there, will have it first and ten at the 20. The score is 12 to nothing. Jones going wide again. 20, 25. Jones struggling for what appears to be a first down. The all-time career rushing leader at the University of Tennessee, Johnny Jones, who went over 1,000 yards last year. And this will be B.B. Cooper carrying this time forward, and he has the first down. Jones just a hair short. B.B. Cooper. So we'll take a second look at the senior from Huntsville at 5-6. Twisted down, but not until he negotiates the necessary yardage for the first and 10. The 10th first down for Tennessee in the game. The Volunteers leading 12-0. Jones tries the middle. Not much there. 52 was waiting. And he makes the stop for Vanderbilt. And that will make it for, Van, uh, for Tennessee second down. The pass is complete. Tim McGee, the tackle on the preceding play made by sophomore Mac McCarroll for Vandy, who's in there as a linebacker. Let's take a second look at Robinson looking for McGee. Good protection, up and up front. McGee in the crease between two defenders. McGee needs eight catches in this game to pass Larry Sievers for the all-time record of the number of catches in a single season. Play action. Robinson. The pass. It's complete. That's Eric Swanson. McGee has caught 44 passes coming into this game. He needs 52 for a new record. Swanson, who came in with 15 catches, now has two in this game. Robinson, rifles, Swanson, bumped out of bounds, but Tennessee has another first down. That pass play for the Vols, good for 16 yards, as was the preceding pass from Robinson to McGee. First and 10 Tennessee at the Vanderbilt 34-yard line. Banging the right side comes Johnny Jones. Picking up right at four yards, it'll be second down and six. Tennessee leads 12-0, second quarter, moving deeper and deeper into Vanderbilt territory. Robinson, pressure, pass, complete. The catch is made by William Howard. He shoved out of bounds after making the reception for a gain of six yards, and it will be close to a first down. Howard, a freshman from Lima, Ohio, 
That's his 22nd catch of the year. There's a penalty marker down on the play. In the backfield for Tennessee, Cooper has made four catches. Howard now 22 for the year. Jones 13. Charles Wilson 7. An inadvertent flag. And coach George McIntyre, the very successful head coach at Vanderbilt, have been dismayed over the fact that Tennessee will get the ball where the catch was made and it's first down. And here's the all-out blitz and Robinson is sacked. The safety blitz. And you saw racing through to nail him, the defender, Armando Fitz for Vandy. Robinson never had a chance. He protects the ball, but he's thrown for a loss on the sack by Fitz. That's his first sack of the year. That's how much time there is left in the first half. In case you didn't see it, 53 seconds. A loss of nine, Tennessee second out. And 19 yards to go, leading 12-0. Robinson pressured again runs out of the pocket runs past the line and is belted at the 29 yard line he got a couple of yards on the play but Tennessee is far still far short of the first down and the balls will let the scoreboard clock count some time third and 17 Tennessee up 12 nothing Robinson being blitzed again throws it is incomplete a good effort by Tim Hendricks the tight end sophomore to Soto Texas but Hendricks unable to hold on to the ball and Robinson was fortunate to rifle the pass and now here's Reves to attempt the field goal Tennessee used a timeout to stop the clock and then Vanderbilt stops the clock itself or actually tries to ice Reves a little bit Field goal attempt is up. It is no good. So Reves misses. We'll be back with halftime comments in just one minute. Tennessee won the toss at the beginning of the game, deferred the decision until the second half begins, which is happening right now. And so Tennessee will receive as Anderson will be kicking off. This is John Wood sending the action. From Nashville, as here's the kick by Anderson, long, high end over end, and it will be Panuska letting the ball sail on through the end zone. It bounces beyond the end line, and so Tennessee will pick up possession first and 10 at the 30. First down 10, Tennessee leading 12 0, second half just beginning as the balls come to the line. High formation, Cooper and Jones, the running backs. Cooper blocking, Jones running. And it's Jones powering his way, going wide for very, very close to a first down yardage. From the 30 out to the 39 and a half and spotting the ball, we'll just wait and see if it reaches the 40. Here's the pitch. You'll see Cooper out in front. Jones, now look at the power and the angle and the body lean of one of the great running backs in America, Johnny Jones. First down, Tennessee. B.B. Cooper pounds the left side, got a yard. So he's carried the ball twice for five yards in this game. Throughout the year, the senior now has carried the ball 16 times, 63 yards. Jones, he's banged. Legs still churning. But Jones got only two yards on the play. And now Tennessee leading 12 to nothing, facing a stiffening Vanderbilt defense. We'll have it third down. Third down and seven. Robinson off play action. Rolls, looks, the pass. Complete, that's Swanson, what a grab. Swanson, tight roping the far sideline. Pulls it down and is shoved out of bounds, but he ran the pattern properly and tells he has it first down, 10 to go. Robinson. Swanson right there and look he got that foot down well he actually got both feet down in bounds before he shoved out of bounds by Anderson ground level back upstairs Tennessee running Jones 
Steve McCoy, the middle linebacker, was there first. And then he gets a lot of help. And Jones, through the right side of the line, gets only two yards. And so Jones is one yard short of another 100-yard game. 13 carries, 99 yards for the senior. And Tennessee will have it. Robinson, it's complete. Jeff Smith. 11 yards on the pickup. So Smith now in 26 catches has 416 yards this year. There's the catch. He's tackled, but he's got a first down. The 17th for Tennessee in the game. 12-0 Tennessee leading, marching with the ball in Vanderbilt territory. Jones. On the tackle is Steve McCoy. No gain on the play by Johnny Jones, so it stays at the 30-yard line. Well, the officials, I think, are going to... Well, the official score gives him one yard on the play, so Jones reaches 100 yards on that run. Barely a yard. Robinson. Jones. Two more yards this time, tacking on to his earlier run, so now in 15 carries. He has 102 yards. And Tennessee is faced with another third down and long. A second look. Good defensive effort that time, Vanderbilt. Steve Wade. Third and long, Tennessee leading 12-0. Third quarter of the game. Robinson. First down effort by Tony Robinson. Robinson has a chance to become the all-time uh, total yardage leader in a single season for Tennessee. His ability to run is one of the reasons. Look at this. Beautiful cutback. He's caught and rolled down by the trailing Wade, but he was able to pick up the first down. And Tennessee will have it first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Two wide outs left, one right for Tennessee in the eye formation. Tight end to the right, actually. Rolling back. There's Robinson in trouble. Dances free. Looks into the end zone. Give him six. Touchdown, Tim McGee. <laughs> Outstanding effort, Tony Robinson. Eluding the... Rush throwing the ball and McGee is wide open in the end zone. Tim McGee getting deep and free and making the catch. And here will be Reves to attempt the extra point, which is up and it is good. There's time out on the field with a score Tennessee 19, Vanderbilt nothing. Tennessee's defense stops Vanderbilt. The Volunteers back on offense once more. Starting at the 33, the handoff goes to B.B. Cooper on what was first down and 11. And Cooper rambles for three yards. And so Tennessee has it third down eight. There's Cooper. And there's Vanderbilt. In the person from the outside, of Armando Fitz. Tennessee leading by a score of 19 to nothing. At the 36 yard line, it's third down. Robinson shifts from a split back to an eye formation. Jones, 40. Jones to the 45 yard line. But Tennessee needed a lot for the first down. I said Jones. Number 33 is Jones. Number 32 carried the ball, and that's the freshman Charles Wilson. As Wilson now in this football game moves for the game. As you see the second look. Third down. Robinson. Long, long pass. It is touchdown. Big odds, Tim McGee. Five 
five yards for the touchdown. Robinson much, must have arched that pass really close to 70 yards. You'll see he takes a full drop. Good protection now, steps up. Look at this throw. And look at this effort by Tim McGee splitting the double coverage. Reads it in over his shoulder. Chalks up six more. His second touchdown catch. Two TDs in this game. Six this year for Tim McGee, a junior from Cleveland, Ohio, who very definitely could set a new season receiving record. Reves with the extra point. It splits them. There's time out of the field with a score. Tennessee 26, Vanderbilt nothing. Tennessee leads, and Vanderbilt has inserted Kurt Page at quarterback. Here's the give to the freshman Crawford as the fourth quarter gets underway, and Crawford slithers forward for a gain of 10 yards on the play. Kurt Page has not played in the game. He was injured in the Virginia Tech game two weeks ago. Vanderbilt had an open date last week. Ratcher has gone all the way. Now Page is into the lineup. His team behind 26 to nothing. And Vandy moving. Page. In Tennessee territory, the pass is complete. Right on target to Edwards for a gain of nine yards on the play. Kurt Page, a senior from Nashville. 192 of 328 on the year, 2,294 yards in the air to lead the conference in yardage. And there's the leading receiver in the number of catches, Keith Edwards. Vanderbilt trailing 26 to, 26 to nothing, but the Commodores are moving with that football. Crawford trying for the first down. He's got it and then some. Crawford right up the middle for 12 yards, and Vanderbilt will have it first down and 10 to go. A second look at the effort by Crawford. 5'11", 180. Vanderbilt moves deeper and deeper into Tennessee territory. As you go to ground level, to see the Vanderbilt team break from the huddle to the line at the 13. Trailing 26 to nothing, but lots of time left to go. Vanderbilt has outscored its opponents decisively in the fourth quarter throughout the season. Page pass complete. Good effort defensively. Who was that? The catch was made by Joe Kelly. And the defender was Andre Kramer, the cornerback. Page, confident, experienced quarterback. Kelly, and look, Kramer dodges a block and makes the blocking stop. Excellent effort for the, by the freshman Andre Kramer. But Vanderbilt still definitely moving with the football. Handoff, there is the catapulting Crawford for a gain of five yards on the play. And it has moved down to about the six-yard line of the Volunteers. Let's take a second look from the end zone. There's that cutback. 51, McKenzie defending for Tennessee, but Vanderbilt will have the ball third down. The score is 26 to nothing, Tennessee leading. Vanderbilt with it at the Volunteer six-yard line. Tennessee adjusts defensively. Page. Pass. It's incomplete. Defending was Andre Kramer for Tennessee as Kelly was the intended receiver. Good coverage by Kramer. And so now Vanderbilt trailing 26 to nothing. Fourth down and three yards for the first. Page reverses. Scott. Touchdown. The experience of two seniors who have played together a long time, and you can just see it right there as Page set up looking to the right. We'll take a look right here from the end zone. Then he just reverses. He knew where he was going all the time, and so did Scott. And Scott just gets to the corner ahead of Victor Peppers for the touchdown, and Vanderbilt is on the board. 78 yards, 11 plays. And in to attempt the extra point will be Anderson. 26 to 6. The extra point is up high, and it is good. There's timeout on the field with the score. Tennessee 26, Vanderbilt 7. 
after an exchange of punts, we pick up the action with Vanderbilt trailing 26 to 7 and Kurt Page at quarterback deep in Vanderbilt territory. Back to throw, pumps the pass. Oh, it's dropped out of the open field by Edwards. The senior, Keith Edwards from Williston, Florida, hasn't dropped many. Vanderbilt battling at the 31 yard line. This drive began back at the nine, actually. Page's pass is overthrown. It was intended that time for Scott. And it will be third down. Tennessee leading 26 to 7. Page setting up with time. The pass complete. Scott. And Scott, who had caught 47 passes for 854 yards coming into the game, makes another reception. Chuck Scott, 24 yards on that pass play. Tennessee with a three-man rush, unable to get to Page, and with time, he picks up his primary receiver, Chuck Scott, and Vanderbilt is moving with the ball. It'll be first down, 10 to go. To the volunteer 46-yard line, Page. Complete. Jim Pop, his first catch of the year, is 28th of the season, excuse me, of the game is 28th of the season. And Vanderbilt on this play picks up nine yards. The Vanderbilt offensive line, the veteran line, schooled well in the skills of pass protection, pass blocking. Spinning the right side, trying for the first down and getting it will be Woods. Woods at the corner, gets a nice block there, turns inside, roll down, but Vanderbilt has moved for the first out. Vanderbilt trails 26 to nothing. Kurt Page certainly has made a change or a difference in the way this offense clicks. Page sees it open, will run. Page out of bounds as he steps inside the volunteer 10-yard line. Kurt Page, who suffered a separated shoulder in the game with Virginia Tech, seeing action after Vanderbilt falls behind 26 to nothing, and look at this effort. Hugging the sideline out of bounds at the eight. It's going to be first down and goal, Vanderbilt. First down, number 17. Page, pass, touchdown, Commodore. Joe Kelly, his seventh touchdown reception of the year. Page watches him slanting into the end zone. The catch is made, and Vanderbilt is on the scoreboard again. Let's take a third look. What coverage the UTV camera men give you throughout this year. Certainly football fans appreciate five camera people who know exactly what they're doing technically and in the game of football as well. Outstanding, outstanding coverage. Vanderbilt's going to try for the two-point play. It's no good. Scott defended well by Peppers. Basically the play on which the first touchdown was scored. And this time Peppers is right on top as the freshman continues to mature. In one of the toughest positions in football, the cornerback. Peppers and Kramer. Filling in for some other young defenders for Tennessee, Brown and Sims, who've been injured pretty much throughout this season, as a matter of fact. The Volunteers have had a lot of people hurt. Four starters defensively lost for the season along the way as here comes that onside kick attempt. Oh, it's a beautiful kick, and it is great, great play. Let's see who got that ball. Anderson trying the onside kick, and it's Joey Klinkscales. That was an outstanding play. Could have been the play of the game right there as Vanderbilt certainly is picking up momentum, but it's Clink Scales with a leaping grab. And Tennessee on the onside try has it first down 10 at the Volunteer 49. 
Vanderbilt hanging tough defensively. Howard tries the middle. Fitz is there, 22, and I think perhaps on the other side was Jordan. Tennessee now will, of course, use all the clock it can, leading by a score of 26 to 13. Tennessee coming into the game 6-3 and 1 en route to the Sun Bowl. Vanderbilt 5 and 5. Both teams 2 and 3 in the Southeastern Conference. Robinson, Howard, stumbling forward past midfield for a gain of right at two yards. And so Tennessee leading by 13 points. This is a big play right here. If Tennessee has to give up possession again with over six minutes to go. Vanderbilt very definitely could get back into that game. Everybody up at the line. Here's Robinson. High, long pass. Leg it out there. Yes! Tim McGee. Tim McGee getting man-to-man -man coverage, and that is tough for the defender. Sykes actually doing a pretty good job. But look at Robinson just laying it up, asking McGee to run under the ball, which he does. That was an outstanding catch over the shoulder with the defender right on his back. And Tim McGee does indeed become the career leader for Tennessee as far as passes caught in a single season is concerned. Tim McGee, he is a junior from Cleveland, Ohio and a class individual and receiver. Tennessee trying to sweep. It's Johnny Jones running out of room. Tackled by Manuel Young. Not much there for Jones, but he did take away several seconds sweeping to the left side. Tennessee leads by a score of 26 to 13. Vanderbilt will take two scores to get into the game. And Tennessee has Tony Robinson using all the time he can off the play clock. Robinson's pass is incomplete. Out of bounds, not only is the pass incomplete, but it stops the clock. Tim McGee helps the defender back to his feet on the far side, that being Fawn Anderson. So it's third down for Tennessee. In Vandy territory in the fourth quarter. Johnny Jones. 22 carries, 124 yards for Jones, who came into the game with a total of 1,171 yards this year. Tennessee will get Reves in. Sell sees something he doesn't like, probably in the way Tennessee had aligned itself, so he asked for the timeout. Reves will be attempting a 29-yard field goal. Three minutes, 25 seconds to go. This is a big play right here. Vanderbilt with big play potential. If the field goal is missed, a long pass, an onside kick, who knows? Reves, that is up, and that is good. It is now a 16-point game, 29-13. It is conceivable that Vanderbilt with two scores could tie with the two-point conversion after each. But that was a big field goal by Reves, his 20th of the 1984 campaign. Tennessee will play Maryland in the Sun Bowl. Earlier this year, Vanderbilt won over the Atlantic Coast Conference champions as, as Vanderbilt opened with four straight wins this year, including a victory over Alabama. Kickoff picked up. That's a good effort by Witherspoon. And Witherspoon then is drilled as he gets back upfield. And the that was Messimer, 46, was one I think also Welsh helping out. Page will be at quarterback, the senior, concluding his career. Played about one quarter in this game as he sat out the first three with the injury. Page. It's complete to Scott. Gain of 20 yards on the play. Tennessee really deployed in a very deep prevent defense. Leading 29 to 13. Vanderbilt without a huddle, conserving as much of the time as possible. 
hoping for a miracle in Nashville as Page sets up in trouble, breaks free, runs, gets a block from Scott as he skips out of bounds. And Vanderbilt will see Page pick up two yards on the play, but most important, he stops the clock. Vandy has 19 first downs in this game. Page, oh, it's dropped. It was intended for Crawford. Xander defending against him, the senior from Mendham, New Jersey. Third down, Vandy. Ratcher has come in on that play right there. It's Ratcher. There's that shovel Utah pass underneath and making the reception and running forward with it will be Crawford. Vandy has used that play for the past six seasons quite a bit, and here it's executed perfectly as Tennessee in that prevent defense has a lot of people playing eight, ten yards off the line of scrimmage. And Vanderbilt counters with that underhand shovel pass. Well, a first down, ten to go. Ratcher. Oh, he completes the pass this time on target. And the reception is made by a senior from Knoxville, Bullen. So Vanderbilt has another first down. Tennessee leads 29 to 13, trying to hold on for victory number seven. Pass. It's caught by Bullen again. He was racked up as he made the catch by Cofer. But that catch by Bullen is good for five yards. And it will be second down and five for Vandy. Fighting the clock, the Tennessee defense, and a 16-point deficit. Ratcher, shovel pass again. This is Woods. And Woods comes ambling forward for a gain on the play of 14 yards. A second look from the end zone, and you'll see how the play develops. That back takes an extra count, sets up behind the offensive guard on the right side. And that time scampers for 14 yards, and Vanderbilt trailing by 16 has time. Certainly get another score on the board. It's Page back in there. The long pass is incomplete out of bounds. It was intended for Scott. Tennessee had it well played that time by Kramer. Second down. Incomplete. That time it's Bullen, and that time it's Kramer defending. Tennessee 29 to 13. That play used four seconds. Page, shovel, Crawford, Cooper. Penalty marker drop. I said Cooper, I meant Simmons. 97, not 77, and Simmons stayed home and made the play perfectly. Holding Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, last dying gasp. Page, long pass into the end zone is incomplete. We'll be back to talk to Coach Johnny Majors in just one minute. Wrestling with Tennessee head football coach Johnny Majors after the Volunteers close out the regular season with a victory over Vanderbilt. Coach Majors, another impressive offensive day for the Volunteers. Well, I don't know what the final statistics were, and really I don't care right now. The most important statistic was the final score, and I'm very proud of the way our team performed both ways. Uh, <clears throat> it was um, we shut out Vanderbilt the first half. I thought was a very impressive uh, display of our defensive play and improvement we made the last month. Of course, the offense uh, controlled the ball quite a bit the first half and did some excellent things the second half to keep Vanderbilt from getting too close to us. I think it was just an all-around ex excellent ball game, and, and we're excited about the way we finish the season. Johnny Jones had a touchdown run in the first <laughs> half. I don't know if you could ever see a more spectacular run or one with greater effort than the one Johnny Jones had. It was a great effort, uh, Bob. I, I know that it looked like he was stopped there momentarily by maybe two or three people. And sometimes I, I can't tell how many, but two or three people, and he bounced out of there and made a tremendous second effort uh, on, his, on his part. And that a typical Johnny Jones effort with an outstanding body lean, which he has, and Johnny runs with good strength, 
and our team held on to the ball much better today. That was the difference between this week and last week. And a couple good efforts by Tony Robinson who became the single season total offensive leader at Tennessee and Tim McGee, the uh, single season reception leader. And McGee made two great catches for touchdowns. Oh yeah, the, the, I'll tell you one thing. The, the, the long touchdown was terrific. He's, he's such a He's such a smooth receiver. I've never seen one quite like him, Bob. And we've had some great receivers at Tennessee and the other two places I've coached. This young man, is in, uh, he may be as good as it's come along, period, anywhere. And the, the play he made <clears throat> to give us a chance at the last field goal down that sideline, the sun was in his face a little bit. He did a subtle job of acting and not looking to the last second to keep the defender from putting his hands up. That was tremendous play. An outstanding pass for Tony also. I couldn't uh, be more pleased to, to see him break those records because both of them have earned it. They're both outstanding, great players. And if they, if they break him, I'd like to see him break him on a victory. Tennessee was leading 26 to nothing. Suddenly Vanderbilt put Kurt Page in. They scored a couple of touchdowns. But Tennessee was playing really with six defensive backs, and you just didn't want to give it the big play, I guess. Yeah, a little conservative, but frankly speaking, the worst thing you can do is, uh, is go into maybe some man-to-man -man coverage right there and uh, not play a three-deep sound defense because if he hits you with a big one, a quick one, they're back in the game, gives a lot of life with, with several minutes to go. We decided to give them nothing easy, make them work for it, and they did a heck of a job. And Page did coming back maybe for 92 yards in the last drive, but we felt like they couldn't win the ball game unless they got a big play or two on us. I think you have to be happy with the way the team bounced back after the disappointment last week. Well, Bob, uh, in, uh, in uh, my coaching career and uh, in any place we've been, I don't believe we've ever failed to bounce back. Uh, doesn't mean we've always won the second ball game after we've lost, uh, but we've always bounced back because we believe in that strong end. Two things in life that you got to try to handle. Number one is uh, success that's uh, really uh, terrific, and I'd like to try that again. Uh, but number two is handling uh, your downfalls. And by gosh, uh, we can always fight back, and uh, we'll work on handling success when we win them all. What about Sun Bowl preparations now? What will the team be doing? Uh, they'll take off this next week. We'll give them all week off because they're in, uh, they'll be starting final examinations, and the timing is very good. Uh, they're going to have the weekend off and come back when they want to start final examinations. They'll have no no responsibilities in football. The staff will all hit the road recruiting. And uh, then we'll come back a week from Monday and start preparations for the Sun Bowl, which is a terrific bowl. I hope our Tennessee fans will go because it's, it's, it's a terrific place to go to and a classy bowl. And we're going to be playing maybe as good a football team as there is in the country right now in Maryland. So we'll resume practice a week at home and then we'll leave uh, on Sunday prior to the bowl game on the 22nd. Coach Majors, congratulations to you and your staff to a big victory and the players, of course, with a win over Vanderbilt today. Thank you, Bob. It's a beautiful day, and I tell you what, uh, we're going to get back to Knoxville early. It's going to be a lovely drive back on Interstate 40 from Nashville to Knoxville. We'll get back almost by dark. That's right. Enjoy it, Coach. I am. Coach Johnny Majors, today the Volunteers beat Vanderbilt. Back to talk with Tennessee players in just a moment. After today's victory over the Vanderbilt Commodores, one of those being Johnny Jones, who became the SEC's leading rusher with today's game. Congratulations, Johnny. And I guess the one thing to talk to you about is the, the big touchdown run in the second period. Oh, yes. No, I really feel great about that. But I really had to give a lot of it to my offensive line, especially for SEC again, twice in a row. So I really have to say a lot for them. I think the, on the 57-yard touchdown run, about four or five guys had a shot at you, didn't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they pretty tough one while ago. <laughs> they just had to fight it all out. You seem to have good games against Vanderbilt last year, over 200 yards, this year over 100 yards. Anything special about Vandy for him? No. I, was just really, I guess I'd really be up for that one, especially because the last game, uh, you always want to go out you know, the best you can. And I guess you got to be happy in the team for the way you guys bounced back after last week. Yes, we are, you know, because we really want to was down because it was a real hard break of last week. So, you know, we just want to come back and prove to ourselves and everyone else, you know, we didn't give up. We won't, we're not, we're not going to give up. Tennessee senior linebacker Carl Sanders with us. Carl, really, the defense came out and shut the door on Vandy till the fourth period. Yeah, we did. I think we did some good things, but Vandy's attack is very complex and it's very good. And they just came, kept coming at us and hit us in a few spots later in the game where we were, we were actually allowing them to give them to. Four times, Vandy starts within their 10-yard line. It's easy to play defense when they're backed up in it. Yeah, it sure is. You know, anytime you've got a team backed up with their back against the wall, you can go in and play three downs, get the offense some good field position and it, it just leaves them a long ways to go to score a touchdown. People would look and say well it's 26 to nothing Vandy came back but really you're just playing not to give up the big play right? I think that was probably it we didn't play as well the last the fourth quarter as we we should have defensively but we were uh, we, we were we were our plan was to give them the short pass at that time we figured they had had to go the length of the field and as long as we didn't give them give up the big play that we could hold them down. Good way to bounce back after last week huh? Yeah it is uh, last week you know we played Okay, defensively sometimes, and then sometimes not. Today I thought we played pretty well the whole day. 
Tennessee defensive back Andre Kramer. Andre, tell us about some of the things Vandy did well and some of the things Tennessee did well today. Well, I think they uh, threw the short patterns well on us. We, we were trying to stop them from going deep outs in the post corners, and so we were giving up the short plays. They, they ran the short patterns well on us. We tried to keep them from scoring when we got down close. Uh, Tennessee, we played good defense all around. We stopped the run. Uh, we shut down the passing game the way they, they really wanted to go deep on us, but they couldn't because we played, you know, good defense on them. So they had to settle for the short game, and uh, time ran out on them. You played a lot of times with six defensive backs back there just trying to shut them down. Yeah, we went with a dime package. Uh, Vic and I were playing uh, def uh, flats, and they had deep third behind us, and uh, it seemed to work. You know, they, they had to uh, settle for the middle area, which Joe and uh, Zan did a good job. This is Tennessee quarterback Tony Robinson. Tony, we were just talking a second ago about the big touchdown pass to McGee. You said you just sort of eased up on it a little bit. Yes, I just, you know, uh, I just threw it up there and let him run up under. I thought it was too short at first, but once he caught the ball, you know, he started <laughs> spreading down the field. I was real happy about it. You that. only threw it 70 yards, you know that. Well, you know, it was just a little something. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, you know, I can have a lot more of those in the future. I guess that's, what, one of the fun plays, just to air it out and let somebody run under it like that? Yeah, as you know, quick quick touchdown, you know, get our offense and off the field and get the defense back out there, but, uh, you know, we'll take those quick six anytime. Tennessee's offense today, very efficient. You didn't make many mistakes. No, we didn't. Um, one time I got a little greedy and went for one, but I threw an interception, but, uh, you know, I just had to overlook that and just come back and get some more points on the board. So a lot of times you got the individual single coverage and you were able to take advantage of it, especially to Tim McGee. Yes, they were uh, playing three deep, trying to disguise their three deep, and they were just, you know, out, just, uh, Kind of weak out there in the flats, and we just took advantage of it out there with McGee and uh, I coach and uh, Swanson. Tim McGee became the single season reception leader for Tennessee with a couple of big touchdown catches tossed in. Congratulations, Tim. Thanks, Bob. It was just a great job, and I had to give my um, coaches thanks, and they, they they gave me the opportunity to break the record, and I just went out and did it. Tony threw him out there for you. Just you had to run under him and catch him, right? Oh, definitely. He did a great job today. He put the ball exactly where a receiver wants it, and it's just you had the easy part just catching the ball. It was, I guess, one of Tony's better days, the fact that his passes right on target, weren't they? Oh, definitely. You know, it, he'd been having some up and down games, and coming into this game, he had a bad game against Kentucky, a lot of people said. And, you know, he wanted to build up his morale going to the um, Sun Bowl, and he just had an excellent day. Excellent. I mean, he just threw the ball so well. I think only one time the interception was the only time he had a letdown through the whole day. Well, you didn't have a bad day yourself. Well, <laughs> you know, it, it, they threw me the ball, and it, it was just a matter of me catching it, and I just did the best I could. So now Tennessee has a chance to regroup and rest up a bit before they head to El Paso for the Sun Bowl. This is Bob Kessling reporting from Dudley Field, Nashville. John Ward back with closing comments in just a moment. you the story that Tennessee has rolled to the victory over Vanderbilt in Nashville. The Volunteers conclude the 1984 regular season 7-3 and 1, heading to the Sun Bowl December the 22nd for the game with Merrill. Vanderbilt concludes its season 5 and 6 in the Southeastern Conference. Tennessee 3 and 3. Vanderbilt finishes at two and four. With this being the last UTV telecast of the 1984 football season, we want to thank the sponsors who have made everything possible. Each Tennessee football 84 telecast has been brought to you